Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and we have the expansion launch of Festival Legends going live in just a few hours around 10 a.m. Pacific and today I wanted to give you guys a deck for every class to try out. These are courtesy of Vicious Syndicate. They put out an article of like 40 decks you could try out on day one. So if there's something you don't like or you want to look for it, I highly re recommend checking out that article. There's a ton of different decks that might meet your play style, but I wanted to pick out, I guess, 11, since there's 11 classes of the ones that I thought were probably the more interesting. Again, I'm not recommending crafting any of these right out the gate. Um, there, Nobody knows what's going to be good, what's going to be the best. It's going to take some time, take some data, but open your pack, see what you get, and maybe you can scrounge up enough to make some of these decks. Give them a try, see if they're any good, and then, you know, go from there. But again, do not recommend crafting anything day one. And also, huge thank you to you guys. We hit over 68,000 subs, and it's giveaway time I'm giving away four rewards tracks we hit that thousand so I'm bumping up to four these are the four winners they have been contacted if I don't hear from them in the next 24 hours I will find some new winners and again we'll have giveaways and all sorts of stuff in the future so don't go anywhere keep hitting that sub we're on the road to 69 420 we are super close so if you hit that button we'll probably have another giveaway they'll be awfully nice if we hit that milestone we'll do something special for it I promise anyways let's go over the 11 decks that I think are at least worth trying out day one. And I guess the last plug, I'm gonna be trying pretty much all these on twitch.tv slash Zeddy when the expansion goes live around 10 a.m. Pacific. So if you wanna come hang out, we're gonna be trying everything standard, wild, we'll probably play some arena, some duels, achievement hunting. We do it all on day one, buy whatever bundles are in the shop, should be a lot of fun. So again, twitch.tv slash Zeddy, come hang out. So starting off, we have Death Knight, which, Honestly, didn't gain that much, but they also lost absolutely nothing. And I know you guys like a good triple blood deck. So we have Renathal, Festival Legends triple blood deck that utilizes some of the new lifesteal cards. You have in here Screaming and Banshee, whenever you gain health, you summon stats equal to that. And you have Arcanite Ripper, the new we weapon. That basically, every time on your turn, your health changes, you summon a bigger and bigger dude with lifesteal. And you have some new core set cards in here, in particular Tour Guide, which is really solid in Death Knight. One mana hero power, I can tell you in wild and even really good. You can bank it, make it zero, but basically you're fueling your corpses a lot earlier. Also, Tour Guide turns into a corpse and Overall, not a huge change. You also have Ghost Rider in here for some extra value, but overall, it's very similar to what we expect. And that kind of goes for all the decks. k Chad looks pretty unproven and Rainbow. There is a list again, Vicious Syndicate has, but I'm not really confident on it being any good. Outcast Demon Hunter is the big deck to look out for from Demon Hunter this expansion. And this list is going to utilize Glaive Tar. This weapon just seems broken. Four mana, four, two weapon, which is premium attack, whatever you already draw a card and then you can just rip through your deck pretty darn quickly we also have rush the stage which tutors out your rush minions like i don't know vengeful walloper a helveria dark raven or get some extra mana cheat with fierce outsider and the nice thing about this card you don't even have to outcast it it's just you get the mana cheat regardless and there's even rowdy fan in here which you could put on your lady astino for some pretty spectacular kills or just any minion in general Alka's DH looks pretty legit. This is probably not super refined list, but definitely a deck that I think you're going to be uh, seeing a lot of, at least in some form. Druid looks pretty shaky, this expansion, but we do have the Hero Power Druid. This deck is all in of the hero power. I don't know if it's gonna be any good. Maybe the ramp jailer version will be better. Regardless, I thought I'd highlight the one that's way more all in on the hero power with your new hero power cards of Groovy Cat. You have free spirit. You can bring them all back with unending swarm, rip through your deck with life from death, which you could tutor all these cards with summer flower child. And yeah, you just do a bunch of damage with your hero power. Is that enough to win in the game? I don't know, but be Zock Foxed out can create that late game stat bomb coupled with like tour guide to really get you there. I'm not sold on it, but hey, you might want to try it out on day one. Next, we have the big dream, uh, big beast hunter. This deck, I feel like there's no way the Renathal version is going to be the best one, but it looks the spiciest. And if you have a lot of these cards, do not craft this. This is a super expensive deck. But if you have a lot of these cards for the prior big beast hunter, 
It looks really fun, but I mean, you got cards like here, like Lorthamar, you got Banjo Sword, Amplified Alex, Strangleford, Heart, and yes, there are copies of Big Dreams, which just do not seem worth it, especially if a say, I don't know. You could give this deck a try. I feel like we'll get a be much better refined Big Beast Hunter as time goes on. But hey, you got Hope of Kel, Philosa, and Mukla. How could you go wrong in this uber greedy, super expensive Hunter deck? I'd, I'm gonna try it. I'm actually gonna try this on stream today. And it'll probably be all golden because we're super whale. But my god, what an expensive deck. Next is a deck I'm really excited for that I think is a legit shot of being a meta player. We have the Light Show Mage, where you want to recast your light shows over and over. You can amplify it with spell damage from your Silver Moon Arcanist, which doesn't care about targeting face, right? And you also have Volume Up, which is just a ridiculous draw engine. You get at least three spells, and if you finale, you get a copy of one, that could be another light show. You could double up light show with Vexalis. You can recast the ones you've generated with Grand Magister Romath, and there's a ton of generation in here. And yes, Solid Alibi will be there to make people like myself and a lot of other people rage, because that's not a heck of a lot of fun to face. Next so we have the Annoying Pure Paladin. All the Pure Paladin builds on Vicious's list are pretty similar the way it's built, but this one more uh, utilizes a Noyo Troop, where you basically have like Goldwing, which can gain uh, Wind Fury with that, but you know, you get that minion out and it is really hard to remove. Plus you can cheat it out with Blood Crusader, but it will cost you nine health, so be aware of that. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of similar to the old Pure Paladin. Uh, one of the other new cards in here is from the core set, which is Muster for Battle, which is an incredible card. If you're looking for a more dude version, there is another one on the Vicious Syndicate list of like Lothraxine, which is also in the core set. So you might want to check that out. We have Control Thief Priest, another Renathal deck here. Oh, this just looks ridiculous. I'm going to have to try it as toxic as it looks because, yeah, you have Sisters Fallen in here to go infinite. You have your new legendary spell, Love Everlasting, which gives you minus two mana on your first spell. And, well, you also have in here, like, the hipster, mysterious visitor to cheat out all your cards, and you can discount stuff and steal it with the Harvester of Envy. This archetype hasn't really worked out yet, but maybe this will do the trick. I don't know. It looks kind of fun, and it also looks absolutely toxic, as priest stuff can. Next for Rogue, honestly, it's all about the Miracle Rogue. It's just to get had a Miracle Rogue list that featured, I think, no new cards. Maybe one. But I will feature the Combo Miracle Rogue, which is more about the combo cards, which I think looks worse than the other one, but it runs new cards. You have, like, Breakdance, you have Rhyme Spinner, you have Record Scratcher, you have Beatboxer, you have Disc Jockey. Is that stuff better? I don't know, probably not, as you probably just want to play Draka and murder your opponent, but you could still do the whole Astalor Shadow Step a million times uh, with Breakdance and all of that. Look for this deck or a Miracle Rogue deck to be very powerful. And yeah, this is the more new take on it all, even if it's probably not the superior one. Uh, Shaman, another class that looks like it could be rough, but in theory crafting, Totem Shaman did impress me. Uh, the amount of stats you can just flood into the board, and you have Grand Totem Izor, which is added in the core set. You also have Thing From Below, which is added in the core set. And you have some Lethality in here with Jive Insect, the legendary spell that can take any totem, any little guy, and for five mana, turn it into a rag, which is just really hard to remove really early on, and especially Totem Shaman floods the board so well, in particular with Carving Chisel and Anchor Totem, that you're trying to deal with all of that, they got a rag with it, it can be quite the headache, so Totem Shaman might be the way to go in standard. Warlock, they have the spiciest list, and I'm going with a Demon Chad Warlock. I like the Fatigue Package in Renathal, I will probably make my own list for this, but I do want to highlight their decks here. And this one it kind of couples the uh, mana cheat of both mana cheat archetypes in Warlock right now. We have the Demons, which can get Void Caller into Dreadlord or Malganus. And then you also have Amorphous Slime, which can hit like a Flesh Behemoth, a Thaddeus, a Dark uh, Dark Theer. And you also have your Wind Condition, of course. On top of that, a Symphony of Sins that gives you insane value. And just, it's such a cool card. And we have ETC in here. I'll show the band i don't know how necessary it's pro this can't be an optimal list but it looks really fun so again if you have these cards in particular the demon package is all part of the core set uh you can give it a try you have cover artist to even duplicate even more of the shenanigans and then lastly we have warrior and uh kibler did pretty well in theory crafting with menagerie warrior 
So let's feature this Menagerie Warrior list that runs a bunch of mostly neutral minions that you can draw through your deck with Roaring Applause, get a big one Amalgam Band, and just hope your Magnetics and your buffs can do that. Uh, I do think the Black Rock and Roll uh, card will probably be the way to win with Warrior. It's just a scam card that wins, probably, but this looks relatively safe, relatively cheap, and um, I can't, I just can't see many people getting super excited looking at any of the warrior lists. And Vicious was smart. They didn't put rifts into a single one of their decks, at least that I could tell. Anyways, that's 11 decks you could try out day one. Of course, again, I do not recommend crafting any of this. And if you want to see how they play out, come hang out. Twitch.tv slash Eddie today. We'll be playing all day today. Should be a lot of fun. And you can see a lot of these cards in action and see if any of them are any good or worth crafting or any of that. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Hopefully see you guys later today. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.